when you take a look at the super simple cloud direct console you can see we have a total of three source servers currently being backed up and we're consuming uh, 135 gigs of storage in the cloud direct if i want to see what what sources i have protected i click on the protect tab and i can see i've got um, three servers uh, two windows one linux two are actually being backed up using a agentless backup um, on vmware and one is using the cloud direct agent I'll show you how super easy it is to add a new source VM to our agentless plan. We simply select add sources, choose from the drop down my hypervisor, and this is actually a appliance, a virtual appliance that I've already deployed. Select the virtual machine that is managed by that uh, chosen hypervisor and select add, add selected VMs simple as that during the next backup schedule that virtual machine will be backed up using the cloud direct agent is almost as simple simply click download the direct connect agent and choose your operating system from windows linux or mac and whether it's a 64-bit or 32-bit um, device this is where you can also download the vmware virtual appliance for agentless backups as soon as the file has been downloaded, copy it over the network and install locally. I'm now on my SQL server. I'm just running that agent installation. At the end of the install process, I'm asked to provide my cloud direct details. So I'll specify my username, my email address and password. Then I'm going to click sign in. Back in the cloud direct console, I can now see my new SQL server. What I need to do is assign a backup policy from the actions menu. I'm just going to choose my cloud direct full system policy. That system will now be backed up on the next schedule defined by the policy, or I could use the actions menu again to manually start a backup. <laughs> We've now completed the backups of our two additional sources. Again, it's super simple to do a restore. We simply we choose the, the server we wish to restore some data from, view our recovery points, select we wish to recover, and then we can choose to download a full image in VHD or image format, or we can browse the actual backup and restore individual items. So I'm just going to select a file and select restore. I'm given the choice of where I wish to restore to and also which server I wish to restore to. I can then restore to a different machine if necessary. And that restore will be completed in the background.